I suppose that's a demonstration of uh, what's up on the uh, TikTok app. Uh, just doing that. And then just before I reverse the camera, I don't know, I, I can't really see a visually impaired or whatever. I just uh, got to make a sound clip of uh, Sammy Silverman's coming in hot sound. It's like the music kicks in, the, the uh, movie's a, you know, sort of based on Neil Diamond, who has a diamond encrusted, uh, you know, jacket that he wears at his concerts. And they have one at his, that they got on eBay or something in the movie. I noticed uh, recently that uh, Dice Man, Andrew Dice Clay, got a similar jacket on when he was on Saturday Night Live uh, during his monologue in, I think, 1990. I would have been like two years old or something at the time. But uh, what else? Yeah, yesterday I made a Cats Out of the Bag video with uh, Sally because her, her bread is today. He, at the moment, he's at the cat hospital. Just down the street, the uh, veterinarian, um, Ace Ventura, uh, uh, cat doctor. So there's a, a <clears throat> industry called human resources, and the official terminology for felines is, or for cats is felines, and like dogs for canines, be like feline resources. But yeah, I made an Andy Griffith uh, sing along video with her yesterday. After that, I found the parrot. The parrot trained to whistle the Andy Griffith theme, and it also clicks its beak. I don't know if it clicks like a person or if it snaps his teeth like a owls snap their teeth to make that sound, but there she is at the moment. She sings along with me when I when I whistled the Duracell theme. It's like a really soft whistle. It doesn't have to be loud. It's like the lowest volume whistle there is it's like <laughs> the Duracell theme and then of course Andy Griffith theme uh that's just what it is she sings along with it uh when I would I finally put into practice my demonstration I applied the, the uh cat you know feline ambulancer concept that I had come up with about six months ago the idea was to use um, my scooter and a cat carrier and make a miniature ambulance only for felines, right? Not for humans. Like they have a cat hospital. Here's a cat ambulance. And I put it in practice yesterday just to see how she'd do. Because she's always watching dogs walk by outside the window. That's like what she's looking at right now. And uh, I don't want to show her the video that I had taken. Like halfway through the trip, I was just I was whistling the theme. Uh, there's a few other things, I don't know, but, uh, I don't know if it's just a personal journal or what, just a memory, uh, to rem things to remember, I don't got a whole lot on my agenda today, I have got a new hobby, I ordered takeout, I went to the hobby store, picked up some very inexpensive <clears throat> stunt planes and model planes, one's a slingshot plane made out of wood, uh under ten dollars total and and then when i picked up the food i still needed a new like a handle bag because i can't carry it like a football on my scooter it was like raining and stuff yesterday um and i asked the waitress outside of the restaurant who was in the bar section she was just like organizing and like cleaning cups outside uh and she was kind of like finished doing the final touches on the dishes like wiping them down stuff wiping down making silverware that's just whatever what happens at restaurants and when when i was leaving i was going past that and I, then i realized i went to go hook up the bag and i didn't have any way to hook it up because it was like a football and at this point there was another couple outside on the porch it wasn't just me and the waitress outside and uh i was like should i like holler should i like holler at her be like hey waitress like from outside the rail I was like, no, I don't want to like startle, startle anyone because there's an intercom system like such and such, you know, your order's ready. Order number 100, order up, order's ready to pick up, you know, over the intercom. I didn't want to be like that, but I could have like uh, imitated the, uh, the sound of this. I got to remember there's like only like three things that, that I, uh, maybe I should close the door. <laughs> a 
commercial breaks or whatever, it's like there's like a second of silence in the whole house when the news does a commercial break on TV down there. But okay, I'd be like, when I ride past people on my scooter, they can't hear me coming up. So I was like, what do I do? I just go meet me like the road runner. That's or if they have a dog, I do the meet me when the, the dog barks at me. Goes, yep. Yep. And I go meet me. And that's whatever. I mean, Looney Tunes stuff from the cartoon. And, uh, Here's what I gotta do. When I ride pipe when I ride past people like that are walking on the sidewalk and I'm in the street, they're gonna be like, What is this? Like I just come out of nowhere. <clears throat> I'll say, This is your captain speaking. And so I can imitate the inter intercom. But what I did was instead of calling the waitress, I didn't know her name. She pretended as if she didn't speak up uh, <clears throat> Anglais, aka English. And I was like, Mayamo David. I'll say stuff like that. Uh and uh, I was like, oh, I'll call her uh, Miss. I was like, wait, no, I'll call her Senorita. <laughs> and uh, I was like, no. But first, I got to, I'm going to answer her with a call. And the call is, <whistles> and I give people a second. The couple didn't look, the waitress didn't look. And then when I went, <whistles> <laughs> then all three people looked at me. And I was like, no, 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 to the couple, Senorita. Senor, can I get a bag with handles on it? You know, I got a scooter. I can't really carry this home like a football. And she's like, uno momento. And she goes inside and comes back with it. But, uh, yeah, that's happened many times to me when I pick up food that they're just not used to people walking up or riding a bicycle to pick up food. But I kind of like this recording system I got. I'm wearing my arm brace. Got an arm injury. Here's the normal plane. Flies for 150 feet. It's only $5 for a wooden plane with a rubber band propeller. Here's three of the stunt planes. That one from the video I made just a second ago. Oh, there's one over here. Here's the jacket that I wore yesterday. That's a hat. And shampoo. What's kind of really eerie is in the movie Apocalypse Now that I called Apocalypse Meow yesterday. Uh, I watched the Charlie Don't Surf scene because of uh, it's like, uh, you know, who uh, doesn't surf? Charlie. It's just another way to say Charlie doesn't surf. And because, you know, it's just a squad of like normal soldiers. But then there's this like celebrity guy who is a surfer. And he's in the squad and they're talking about surfing in uh, Vietnam during the Vietnam conflict. And uh, it's an analogy for in the Second World War, not really in the First World, World War, but a lot of uh, professional sports players had uh, left to, you know, join the military sort of really like, uh, I can't even remember his name at the moment. But yeah, this clips on my... Half of my glasses is what happened to me yesterday. And I usually don't mention it, but I, I have one and a half. I don't have two full legs on my glasses, and it's been that way for years. But uh, this is whatever. I, I don't know. I can't really see a whole lot without my glasses. But what's so funny is um, friggin' Sally all of a sudden... With this little hat, she looks like uh, one of the U USO models that's in the USO show in the movie Apocalypse Now. <laughs> but I put this on her. And uh, if I put it on my ear and pop it, it's like, ouch, never try that. And then the raindrops yesterday were like hitting it like that as I was, you know, on the road or whatever. But...
ですよね。うん。still more。Take this stuff outside. This here. Something about this, it looks like a ruler. It's a train whistle with a train pictured on it. I put it with the model train I got upstairs. Uh, here's uh, the 2.0. Let's see. So I looked up. This one has a patent pending, but I looked up、uh, the original inventor of this, who has a patent, and he's a former、uh, Air Force. Ah,、uh, right on the top. I gotta go over there and get it. And what was I gonna say? I was gonna. I was making this. This is the banner that I got to fly in the back. Oh, there's a roller. Attached to the rear of the the plane,、um, I was gonna spray paint something. I don't remember what made this makeshift chair to hang out here yesterday. Actually, it's relatively comfortable. That's a、um, what do you what you call it? Like in Looney Tunes, the friggin' skillet. <laughs> I guess that's all. I don't really know. There's something. Bum, 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 bum. I'm trying to recreate、uh, Sergeant Pepper's sound of the brass. <laughs> Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I can never remember if it's how how the, what these notes are. <laughs> <laughs> We're Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. We hope you have enjoyed the show. That was a that wasn't a good one, but the way that I had done it naturally at the concert with the、uh, Hard Day's Night Band. The、uh, racetrack. I was listening to Pink Floyd today. It says, "In a song, time, you, not you've missed your time, or you're too late for your time, or too early for your time, whatever the quote is."、Um, it's、uh, you missed the starting gun, and the starting gun is at the racetrack where the horses start going. But I had this instead of the starting gun. You know, there's one startling sound that they got, and it's pop the starting gun, then they take off. But、uh, yeah, that was、uh, really something. I、uh, sometimes I impress myself, and that had、so、the the rain really did a number on my hair yesterday. But I was watching Charlie Don't Surf scene, and I was reading the captions, and the quote is "break river break point," and I realized how much it seems like that one two words of Apocalypse Now is the whole origin of the movie Point Break when they're talking about surfing, and. You know, on the cover of the movie poster, it's like Keanu Reeves and not Arnold Schwarzenegger, Patrick Swayze,、uh, whatever. 
surfers. So uh, that's all.